All righty, Mr. Andy. Got you all done here, pal. I don't know if this thing's going to uh, focus anytime soon. What's it doing? There we go. Well, anyway, man, here's your uh, Texas Star 500. Full-blown... Uh, so you wanted a full-blown uh, power wire upgrade all the way to the back of the transformers. Got that done for you here, man. You wanted a full-blown uh, fan kit, dual fan kit. And this particular fan kit right here is actually uh, one that a buddy of mine, Mr. Lone More Man, actually built for me. I may start... Well, pretty sure I'm going to start letting him uh, build these for me. And uh, maybe a little cheaper doing that. May be able to get them a lot quicker. Because you can only buy some, so many of these uh, top lids here, man. Because I can't keep them in stock. I ain't going to lie to you. It's tough keeping them things in stock. And I uh, put the fresh paint job here on the top lid for you. Got you one of the new GK labels on there, man. And one of the other things you wanted done is you wanted the the meter with a red meter light. So let me demonstrate that for you. Let's turn this light out. Well, that light was already cut out. Okay. So here's the meter light for you. I hope it's red enough. Let's turn the box on. Oh yeah. That thing looks beautiful. It looks a lot. Of course, it looks totally different in real life than on camera. But I mean, it's, it's lighting up the whole meter. That looks great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks beautiful. I actually use strips for this one. And of course, this is one of the newer fan kits. Down here at the bottom, you have a switch. Let's see if I can get that on camera here. You have a switch down here at the bottom, which is that little shiny thing right there. It is. Where am I? There it is, right here. And that switch is a high, low switch and an off. You can put it in the middle position for it to be off. Okay. All right, man. Well, my uh, bench radio, my four watt radio, is currently being fixed. It finally croaked on me here after about, what, four or five years of use. So I've got my Stickman Cobra 29 hooked up. So we're putting about 8 watts RMS into this bugger right here. So we got the 1,000 watt slug right here on peak. 1,000 watt slug and RMS. So this is what we're yielding. I do have the green button pushed in just for the heck of it. Just to show you what it does with the green button pushed in. Go. That's about 525 watts or so. And the green button pushed in, so it's doing its 500, that's for sure. RMS, oh, a little bit over 200 bird. All right, let's depress the green button. PP, go. Oh, 600 watts easy. RMS, go. Oh, Look at that, already doing 300 bird. Already doing 300 bird. Just with eight watts drive, that's beautiful. Let's see that 300 bird again. Yo, oh, look at that. Look at that low dead key, man. Just letting the mop flop out here in the big jaw. No, oh, just getting down. Input reflect. Oh yeah, just a little bit of movement, but perfectly flat. Let me rephrase that: a little bit of movement, but perfectly acceptable. That's a five watt sl slug in reverse. So the fifty is five watts. The ten is one watt. In between that is a half a watt. No, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. So you're looking at a quarter of a watt of input reflect, which is absolutely acceptable. All right, man. This thing is working great here. I could, you know, hook up a bigger radio and hook up a driver and all that good stuff. But the goddamn thing is doing 600 watts peak. 
with a single final radio hitting it. Go ahead and pick, pop the top here. I know y'all have seen so many of my uh, Texas stars, they probably all about look the same. <laughs> so there's the inside there, bud. Went ahead and put you a bigger uh, combiner on there. I've been doing that a little bit lately. There's really no huge, uh, you know, ain't that big of a deal there. It ain't giving you no more power or nothing like that. The combiner they give you is big enough, but if I have them to spare, I'll throw them in there. And this particular one, you know, like I said, all four pills were blown in this one. That's what these are right here. All four of these dang pills are blown. That's just a waste of Toshiba's, man. 800 bucks down the drain. God, that money. So I had to drop you four dots in here, man. These things are at least worth about $100 a piece used like this. Went ahead and put you a metal down here. There, they had a regular. This is one of the older versions. wasn't an old, 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 but old enough for them not to be using metals down here. So I went ahead and threw a metal back there. Put you some new feedbacks on here. Full power wire upgrade all the way to the back of the transformer, of course. 14 gauge wire. And like I said, I use strips right here on this one. This does work very well. So it takes a little bit less time for me to get set up than some of the older ways I've, I've done this. Had to re replace both the 10 micro Henry chokes on this one too. Uh, had to replace this bias resistor down here too because it had popped. Went ahead and did all my normal stuff, thickened the solder up on the output, soldered all your tabs right here. If these ever get sticky on you right here, it's just the front face plate, that's all. It'll get shifted sometimes and we'll be pushing against the switch. But all of them, all of them are doing good. So that's the only reason why I noticed that at first and I checked it out and tightened this nut on here a little bit. So there we go, man. You got you another one, brother. Here's your second Gatekeeper Modified Texas Star 500 got quite a few of these out here I plan on starting to produce these fan kits here uh, in great great amounts and maybe even start selling them separately I don't know we'll just have to wait and see how me and oh uh, lawnmower man watch out boots watch out babe go here and show you what lawnmower man's got cooked up here be trying this one out here next yeah, the only downfall in it which ain't really a downfall but you know you don't get the same texture on this as you do the top lid but, I mean heck I could even get them to start making top lids to match if I needed to but this right here is actually made out of a little bit thicker aluminum which I kind of do like because once you get these holes in these in this it's pretty easy to bend especially you see how thin this is right here it is kind of easy to bend them after you put the holes in there and this right here is sturdy there's, there's, there's no bending gonna be happening with this right here so we'll see I'm gonna get this painted up and get some fans thrown on there and all that good stuff and see how she looks on uh, a unit and we will see what we got going on over here the only reason I'm showing this radio into the picture because this amplifier right here I'm getting done with is going to seal the deal on this beautiful piece of machinery right here. This Yezu, Yezu FT991A has literally been transmitting almost 24 hours a day every 15 seconds. Transmitting for 15 seconds, receiving for 15 seconds. Transmitting for 15 seconds, receiving for 15 seconds, etc., etc. That's all due to this computer right here, Foxtrot Tango 8. That's all I'm gonna say about that. A little bit of software I've uh, designed to keep this thing autopilot. Yes, so Gatekeeper is a software developer. Been uh, working with the uh, Visual Basic coding 
ever since about age 10, back in the old school AOL days, the old Juarez days. I used to call it Juarez because I didn't know how to pronounce it. But we made progies. But I called them progies because I never met anybody that was in the old Juarez game to tell me how to pronounce it. So I pronounced both words wrong. Progies and Juarez. Which I ain't too uh, embarrassed about. W-A-R-E-Z pronouncing that Juarez because that's how you pronounce Juarez, Mexico. But it was wares, freeware. Well, thank you, bud. This is going to seal the deal, a little trade deal amongst me and Andy for this uh, beautiful radio right here. It's working great. Andy, thank you for looking out for me. I am a sucker for ham radio gear, y'all. I do love ham radios. The radios, you know.